Hey guys, what's going on? It's Massive Joe's Weekly. Whoa! Check out the lung capacity on him. Another delicious intro. Massive Joe's Weekly Word. We made it, Neve. It's episode 21. No, no, well, last week was actually 20 and we f***ed up to have to call it 19.5. So no, so this is episode 20 point, no, 21. It's just 20. We're going with 20. The title in this bitch is going to say 20. Topics of discussion for this monumental episode 20 of Weekly Word, my brother Neve. Um, so TMJ bags have arrived. Yeah, we've got some cool, cool, cool things. TMJ smart shakers arrived and shakers have arrived. The new Max's range is in. Mm. WBFF wrap up and mm. your preparation to the INBA. To the INBA, yep. And Ask Neves. And Ask Neve, the very first installment of Ask Neve. I don't know the questions. I don't even know the questions. They're written down on this piece of paper. I haven't read them yet. <laughs> It's either going to be very good or very bad. First topic of discussion, Neve, new products. Tell the viewers at home about these Sorry. delicious Team Massive Joe's gym bags in the house. This is the new Team Day gym bag. It's the tits. So I'll show you a bit of a 360 end, the massivejoes.com. Yep. Nothing on that side. Yep. Massivejoes.com on the end. Yep. Massivejoes.com on the top. It's very well branded. And the strap as well, and which is strap. inside the bag. So we're gonna do a prop, we're actually gonna do a raw review yeah. on this. But you got like you got your end pocket. Review. Shoe you pocket. Shoes in. Tell them. You got zips and handles. All and kinds of shit. Go check out the raw review, man, when when we publish it, which should be pretty soon. And but we just got a shit. All the details. We got like four five hundred or something. How many did we get? Thousand. Thousand. There's a lot of them, man. I didn't count it, I just I just looked. You're a little bit out of um, screen. Yeah, because you're taking up all the yeah. room. Do you want to actually, why are you there? you want to show the viewers at home that horrible f haircut that you've got going on? <laughs> what is it? Big Sal Hassan. It's horrible. No, Big Sal Hassan walked into the gym when we were training chess, or we walked into his gym because he was there. Yeah. Training chess. He thought I was Evan said the party. You see this, mate? That's a, that is a haircut right there. Your haircut is yeah. horrible. 2001 call. It looks like their, it looks like you court, had. A, it looks like you had a fight with with the, the f***ing razor. I just want to show you something. <laughs> oh, can you, oh, it's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Is it John Cena? No, it's Evanson Dupani. As your screensaver. Yeah. Shouldn't you have your bushy cat as your screensaver? Bushy cat. Mate. <laughs> exactly the same physique as well. Yeah, I would not say so. Anyway, what else is new, man? What else we got? Um, we got the, the shakers. Smart shakers are back in stock, so there is already a raw review on these. So you can go check that out in the the men's the red and black, and the pushy cats pink, which is slightly smaller than the men's. Those are back in stock, and then finally, and the black normal, the uh, original, the ever popular. Actually, I had a girl the other day. I said to her, "I'll I'll get you a pink shaker," and she wouldn't take it because. <laughs> She and gave me a spill because pink was derogatory towards women and that it is pigeonholing women into what colours they should be Jeez, liking. I hope she doesn't watch our, our videos. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, next like, topic of discussion, no! I got a spill on how pink should not be a colour for women. There you go. And about equal rights and wish I'd never asked you for a free shaker. So New she, Max's range in the house! So you got Super Shreds. I'll cut Joe's face out of this one. Super Shred. For the amount of people that have been asking for it is now in stock. The new Max is... Where do I send my resignation? Max is hiding. Do I go put it on your desk? Yeah, because I'm the one that got these in. Joe had nothing to do with this. I'm actually going to leave the room. Max is Hydro Load. That's a good product. I like the Hydro Load. WPI HL. That's also a good product. Big fan of that. Super Size. You can check out all the raw reviews on this Super new Max's size. range, man. Good product. We've been selling that for a while though. That's just been repackaged. What's this one? Super, Super way. way. As to and another The boys have left product. out our favorite one. Nighttime. Oh yeah, the nighttime. The casein blend, which is actually a really good product too. Max's, I have to say, I, I over the years have had uh, personal views towards Max's range of products that have been less than impressive. Oh. But the new range, I must say, I'm actually solidly impressed by mm. legitimately impressed by and i said to you there's just, some good products you in there, said, man. we're getting the full range in yeah and you said no and i said yes 
Uh, I rang up Max's, rang up Tony. So Tony. Next minute. Palette of Max's <laughs> landed in Madison Joe's warehouse, and I, I had five raw reviews to do on my desk. And a large invoice to do pay. Do I even run this company Not anymore? Not anymore. Not anymore. I, I just, I'm, I, literally, it's the people's company, <laughs> and where you guys are the people, and you tell me what to do. And they make you pay for it. Next topic of discussion. Nee! Uh, the W, Jerome has just messaged me. What does he want? Do we have it wants a large, to be in next week's weekly worst. Do we have a large <laughs> and extra large in black truck pants? WBFF wrap up in Imber, yeah? Yeah, so tell so, us what happened last weekend. So I competed in the WBFF uh, Australian titles last weekend, placed top 10. Not exactly sure where in the top 10 because I haven't seen the results yet. I don't think the actual results have been published yet. But somewhere in the top 10, which I'm uh, ecstatically, in, uh, ecstatically happy with. Um, especially as a natural athlete competing in a non-tested federation. Mm. If that says anything, to go top 10 uh, out of about, how many people competed? I wasn't there, was about I didn't 40, There was about 40 people there. It was a cool comp, man. It, was, um, it wasn't particularly well organized, but it's the first time they've held that comp and there was over 300 competitors in total, man. So there was a lot of logistics behind it. And if you put that in mind, it was okay. The stage production was awesome. Best stage production I've ever been involved with. Really, really good. Um, and like I said, my result I was very happy with. Mm -hmm. And now, on to the next one, which is the IMBA South Australian titles, which is two weeks from this Sunday. Is so it like, Saturday? No, it's on Sunday, May the 4th. If you happen to be in South Australia and you happen to give a f and you might want to come check it out. And if you happen to know that that is also uh, Star Wars Day. It is, May the 4th be with you. <laughs> Anyway, I've got a bit of... Actually, no, here I can put this to the viewers because I have a dilemma with that competition, Neve. Yeah. You know what the dilemma is. What it's are you looking it's for? It's a Sunday. I thought it was a Saturday. No, it's Sunday, man. May the 4th. My dilemma is I thought that in this competition there was a men's physique division, which is what I have been training for and what I would have competed in. Went to go fill out the application form the other day. No men's physique division. There's men's fitness which is like men's sports model, and then men's bodybuilding. So I have a dilemma as to whether I go and compete in men's fitness, no. or go and compete in men's bodybuilding. You're doing men's bodybuilding. So I would like the viewers at home to post your thoughts as a comment to this video. Should Joe compete in men's fitness, or should he compete in men's bodybuilding in two weeks time at Imba? Well, number one. And I will do whatever the you guys want. No, you're not doing physique or what are you doing, fitness? If the, guys, if the viewers want me to do fitness, I'll do fitness. I don't care. You're too big for fitness. Don't care. You're doing Aaron Curtis. Don't care. Aaron Curtis did physique. And he was too big for physique. He's a big, he's, he's a big dude, man. He is, but he's too big for One physique. One of Australia's best natural bodybuilders. So that means that you're definitely going to be too big for fitness. Well, more. I don't care. I want the viewers at home to, the viewers at home can decide what I do. Men's fitness or men's bodybuilding. Post it as a comment in this video. Last topic of discussion, Neve. Ask Neve. Ask Neve. Oh, I'm scared. <sighs> so am I. <laughs> so, last episode, and you can do it this episode as well, we said post as a, as a comment to this video any questions that you have for Neve, and we will ask Neve a selection of those questions in the next episode. So that also applies to this episode, so if you've got any questions for Neve that you'd like us to answer in episode 21, Post them bitches as a comment to this video. Anyway, <laughs> this is so good. Uh, okay, let's start with the first one. Adam Q, Neve, is a test booster better to be taken for bulking or cutting? And you need to give quick answers. Both, because you want increased testosterone to build muscle and also to retain as much muscle when you're cutting. Mm, very nice. Uh, that one's too, uh, 28 Koi wants to know, is, is that true, Neve? It, it could be, it could be. <laughs> Oh, this is a good one. Seth is the best, wants to know, can we see how big Neve's calves are? Yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, we can, show them. Stand on the, stand on the, come on, you have to. You wanted to do this segment. I didn't deal with Show them. Me. Show them how big your calves are, don't break the chair. Now you get, there you go. No, you can't, I'm not doing yeah, now flex it. Come on, show them. That's how big Neve's calves are. Um, Seth is the best. I hope that answers your question. Anyway, back down. How about, a quad? Got, how uh, about a quad? 
No, <laughs> nobody wants to see quad calves. The quads are impressive, I must say. Uh, next question. YouTube 1011011, I think, whatever the <laughs> your name is, wants to know, how did you get the nickname Neve and what part of the North do you come from? Um, Neve was because this, I went to my Mr. Pizza and Kebab uh, pizza place at Hope Valley, your, which is weekly Hope, cheap meal. At Hope Valley, which is also up the northeastern suburbs of Adelaide. Um, and yeah, he thought I, on the phone, he had a bit of an accent. He was a different nationality. And ever say, whenever I rang up and say, it's Steve, he said, Oh, is that you, Neve? Is that you, Neve? Yes. But and he, that's how you got the nickname, Neve. Yeah, because and I wanted to know. the north are you from? Uh, Teacher Gully, Mobbury. Area. Nice. Next question. Alex Sutton wants to know, do you still train for powerlifting? Your deadlift was fairly good from memory. Well, Alex, my friend, you do have very good memory <laughs> because Neve's deadlift was and still is very good. 10 points to Gryffindor. 300 kgs plus. Do you still train for powerlifting? Yes, I still go. We still go heavy on, well, I go heavy on bench and yeah. heavy on deads. Yeah. You, you don't know, compete we're... as a powerlifter no, anymore. No, I'm doing Why? bodybuilding because my knees are f There you go. But, uh, so I go heavy on bench and heavy on deads and rack pulls, but I do not go heavy on legs. Because mm, of your knees. You can barely even squat. We went to go train legs on Monday night and you were front squatting 130? Yeah, 140. And you couldn't because your knees were too sore. The power was there, just the joints. And just the, depth, the depth was definitely there. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Johnson wants to know, can you update on your bulk? What are you weighing? What is your goal weight? What are your current macros or are you even tracking them? Zach, one Question, bro. <laughs> Zach's gotten a bit greedy here. Jeez. Uh, All right, so let's go through them. Can you update on your, what are you weighing? 103 to 104, depending on. What's your goal weight? 115. And that's like off season before you start cutting for a So at like, the end of the year, I want to be sitting at minimum 110 to 112. So your goal weight's 112. Yeah. Cool. What are your current macros or are you even tracking them? Um, sitting at 50 to 60 grams of protein per meal. How many meals? Seven or eight. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's got a lot of protein. <laughs> um, I'm getting carbs for breakfast, pre, intra, post workout, and before bed. So carbs are five meals, and the other meals are high fats. So what's your macros per day? I'm, I'm, I am don't know. You're not really too sure. But you track them I'm more just, per meal yeah. than per day. Per meal, I, I try and hit them per meal. Let's just go with you're eating a lot of food yeah. and a lot of calories. And, and But I'm only having one shake, that's my post-workout. The, the rest of my meals are coming from Whole Foods. So being oats, eggs, turkey, steak, um, what else? Rice. Yeah. Almonds, you eat a lot of whole foods. Almonds. I mean, in all whole foods. Whereas this time and last typically year, typically clean foods. Whereas you this don't time, do if it fits your macros. Whereas this time last year, I was amazing. having like four whole meals, four shakes. Now I'm having seven whole meals, one shake, which awesome. is just my post work. Two more questions. Second to last one from uh, 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 Jonathan H. Uh, what are your personal favorite pre-workout BCAA protein and creatine products? So your personal favorite pre-workout. De At the moment, EVP Plus. Personal favorite. And DEFCON 1. Personal favorite BCAA. Gasparian Amino Last, Strawberry Kiwi. Are you f***ing serious? Yeah. Oh. Personal favorite protein. Oh. You're going to hate this one. What? At the moment, I'm using... Oh, uh, no, actually, my favorite is TCF Isolate. At the moment, I'm giving Super Shredder crack. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> it's delicious. This is, the company is falling to pieces the, the, the caramel, the right car in front of my eyes. The Caramel Super Shredder is delicious. What about MTS Whey? Yeah, we don't have any in stock. When it's in stock, though, it's your favourite. Yeah, when it's in stock, right, I love that favorites. sludge. Your personal favourite, creatine. Um, I'm just a fan of creatine monohydrate. You use the Optimum, don't you? i got Dometize at the moment. Oh, really? Yeah. It's difference? Same thing pretty Same much, thing isn't it? Creep. Last question, Neve, before we wrap up this episode of Massive Joe's Weekly Word. This is a good one. Oh, is this from Carol? No, this is from, this is from, no, we're skipping Carol's question because <laughs> that could get awkward. Um, this is from Tom H. How well, and this is how he's written it as well. How well are you doing with the Pushy Cats and Nevos? <laughs> I'd rather answer Carol's. The Pushy Ask Cats, Tom. the Pushy Cats are going alright. Going alright? Nevos? Nevos. <laughs> Nevos. You got anything else you want to add, Neve? For this. Uh, uh, people want to know um, how old this, you are. Um, people want to know how old you are. I'm not telling people how old I am. It's none of your business. 
You're not 30, put it that way. Yeah, I'm under 30. Let's not like the that. big swole bait coming up on the big 3-0. I know, we're going to have a big, big party. There's Massive Joe's wholesale account manager. Joel Bait, a.k.a. Swole Bait, a.k.a. the Swole Bear. Isn't Jerome having his 40th this year? <laughs> 43rd. <laughs> you know anything else you want to add me before I tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button? Well, you've just said it, mate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Start today with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Weekly Word. Don't forget to post a comment telling us whether you want me to compete in fitness or bodybuilding. I and then any do. questions that you have for Ask Me even next week's Weekly Word. I think you needed bodybuilding. Where are we coming to and from, Neve? Massivejoes.com. Stay mad.